It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. And we have a special guest with our newest feature. He is the great comedian Greg Warren with his feature, The Warren Report. Greggy! And, Hi, um, Greg. and Greg always tries to have in the background a picture of a famous person named Warren. And uh, we st <laughs> it was uh, Chief Justice Earl Warren. And uh, is that uh, Warren Moon? That is Warren Moon, Tom. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Very uh, nice. One of my favorite football players. How about that? And also named yeah. Warren, of course. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. No, okay. well, <laughs> I want to make sure we tie, tie this together. Uh, okay. Uh, Greg, how are you, sir? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, I, I thought today we would uh, discuss uh, Rocky Aoki, the uh, founder of Benihana. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah, he's he's got his picture with everybody. Uh, or every, in, every, any Benihana you go to, there's Rocky everywhere. You have hit a hot button, Greg, <laughs> because Tom loves Benihana and that uh, set up so much that he's thinking about trying to write new bits for the chefs. Am I right on this, Tom? <laughs> yeah, um, because, yeah. I mean, they've got... They've, they've pretty much got the same five, six bits. They got you got the, the volcano. <laughs> volcano, yeah, the choo-choo yeah. train. Right. Claims they're tired. Yeah, yeah the, uh, the the shrimp into the mouth. Uh, Classic. The, yeah. Shrimp in the One of those shrimp seems to get away every time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, <laughs> as Christy says, the, the, the egg heaved up into the chef's cap. Yeah. yeah. I just think we need to come up with some better gags for them. But I'll let you uh, talk about uh, the Benihanas and Rocky. Yeah, Rocky's, uh, this guy's a character. Just, uh, this is one of my favorite things. Uh, he uh, raced uh, speedboats. Wow. A lot of money, and, and he was good. He was a really good speedboat racer, uh, but he got in a terrible accident, uh, and they took him to get surgery, and he woke up from a very long surgery, and his wife and mistress were standing <laughs> in the hospital room, and they had never met each other. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> they had a few Rocky, questions. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky woke up, and he goes, uh, Oh, no. And he, then he faked a blackout. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm going to request that you do the accent of Rocky as much as you yes, can. Please try to <laughs> yeah, but sprinkle just, that in. Even that little brief, oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. And a little bit of a little bit of English on it, ironically. <laughs> well, I, 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 yeah, different times. He, he, was, uh, he was a Japanese immigrant. Uh, uh, Rocky's parents uh, owned a coffee shop named Benihana in Tokyo, and uh, the reason they did, they, when they came back uh, to war-torn Tokyo after WW2, uh, they, <laughs> oh. they saw Josh. a... Uh, well, Josh, it was a tragic event, WW2. Sure. I don't know uh, why you're laughing. No. But they saw a uh, one red flower uh, growing through the rubble, uh, which mm. is... Uh, uh, Benihana means red flower. So that's... Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so why don't so you Rocky, give me a, a bouquet of Benihanas? That's, that's something you would say in Japan. Exactly, Chick. Exactly. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Son yeah. of a gun. Um, so, so this was uh, nowhere Rocky. near uh, Hiroshima, then. My God. Could you let him? No. Sorry. Oh, okay. No, Chick. This was uh, this was Tokyo. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Um, <laughs> so Rocky, uh, Rocky had some troubles uh, as a child. He got in a lot of trouble at school. It says uh, for pushing kids down the stairs. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he also uh, uh, sold. Uh, Pictures of scantily clad women, oh, which uh, wow. I I knew that kid. Yeah, yeah, we all did. Yeah, I I, I I bought a Cheryl Teague's uh, uh, swimsuit uh, model picture. Still got it. <laughs> Still got it. It's, uh, it's best really? investment I've ever made, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seven bucks. It's uh, yeah. The thing still pays off today. Um, <laughs> I love it. I'll send you. I'll send you a photocopy uh. if you want. Um, so, but uh, uh, you know what? To to uh, sort of get himself out of trouble, he found wrestling, which is uh, why I love this guy, oh. uh, and and excelled at wrestling, and was a member, an alternate member of the 1960 Japanese Olympic team. Wow, he's really wow. good. Yeah, yeah. He's in the uh, he's in the U.S. Wrestling Hall of Fame. He he uh, used his wrestling to get a scholarship uh, to an American university uh, in New York, and he lived in New York City, but. Uh, it just didn't work out over there at mm. CW Post in Long Island. Got you know, got in some fights. I don't know if there was stair pushing or not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> very aggressive. They got man. a lot of stairs over at CW Post, from what I understand. So um, he, he mostly sort of uh, just started making money. He loved America, loved America, and uh, 
He drove a Mr. Softy truck through Harlem. Nobody wanted to go there. And he was like, well, I'll just take that market. And uh, he, he, he drove this Mr. Softy truck through Harlem, blaring Japanese music. Yes. Uh, and he put, he put pictures of himself wrestling on the Mr. Softy truck uh, to discourage people from, from vandalizing the truck. And he put <laughs> articles about him in the Olympics. Yeah, I, uh, when I was first uh, in Houston, uh, and Warren Moon was the quarterback down there, I was selling peanut butter down there and they they actually sent me to some some you know rougher neighborhoods, and I um I was selling peanut butter at these grocery stores, and uh, I put some pictures of myself wrestling on the Taurus. Oh yeah, <laughs> sure yeah. yeah. How'd that yeah. work? Ah, oh, they pissed on it. They spray painted honky lips across. Yeah, it was uh, it was rough. Um, so. Uh, he, he he made like ten grand, saved ten grand from this Mister Softy truck. Wow! And yep, and he and that's how he opened Benihana. It was one restaurant with four tables in Midtown Manhattan, uh, and it, it struggled. And then this uh, restaurant reviewer, uh, Clementine Paddleford, found him. Oh my and, darling! Uh, yes, <laughs> my, my darling uh, Clementine. Of course, thank you. Thank uh, yeah, uh, Huckleberry <laughs> Hound. Uh, I know. <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up, Tom. Uh, <laughs> oh, I was a little fuzzy. Yeah, so, uh, say my so, so okay. she made him famous, and uh, Muhammad Ali started eating there, and uh, and 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 Benny Hanna was born, and it was a, a wild success. Basically, um, he sort of, you know, basically dumbed down <laughs> Japanese culture for Americans. Oh, okay. yeah, he, he, yeah, he found out that Americans. Uh, enjoyed eating in exotic surroundings uh, and are deeply mistrustful of exotic foods. So <laughs> his rule was nothing slippery or slimy. Um, he, he wanted to normalize uh, Japanese uh, food for Americans. It's called teppanyaki. That's yes. the, uh, the yeah. style of food there. Yeah. And, um, you know, some people took shots at him, but it worked. Uh, the Texas Monthly uh, called it the Japanese equivalent of a minstrel show. Which uh, oh, that's a little yeah. harsh. Wow. Yeah, a little harsh. A little harsh. I thought. Um, I don't uh, want but the this guy, trip. <laughs> this guy did extremely well. Man, made a bunch of money, and he liked money. He said uh, uh, his quote is, "Money, not everything, just ninety nine percent." Oh, that's funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And um, he, man, he he had a good time. He he launched a uh, soft core porn magazine called Genesis. Here we go. Uh, did he really? Yeah. yeah. Yes, Genesis. Now, here's the big trick with that one. Uh, two centerfolds for the price of one. Oh, that's, you know what? He had the right idea, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. Dude, is, you can't afford not to buy that. <laughs> is that is that magazine still out there? Um, uh, no, Tom, it was a horrible failure. It lasted uh, one year. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how hmm. people didn't buy that. Two centerfolds, guys. Two. <laughs> Um, Boy, that's what happened four. to his then, wife and his mistress? Did they? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Oh, he had several well, wives. But they oh. were they were both featured in that issue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's there right. You go. <laughs> they shared that issue. Yeah. He uh, he then uh, opened a, a softcore porn club All right. called Club Genesis, six stories in Manhattan. <laughs> uh, yeah, had a real good time there. What he would do is he'd uh, uh, he'd, he'd do a lot of drugs, uh, and there were a lot of naked women, and he'd he'd play backgammon. All, all night long. That's uh, hot, he all right. He was a national yeah. backgammon um, uh, champion. Christy, uh, naked women and a, and a guy playing backgammon, does that remind you anything? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I thought you might bring up one time. Uh, oh, uh, when you were playing hot Scrabble hot. in the bar? No, neither of yeah, you were we naked. Had, uh, yeah, we had a couple of hot chicks and we were playing Scrabble, Scrabble with them in the bar. Scrabble in a martini Christy bar. Was disgusted. I was so uh, pissed at them. <laughs> it was their idea. <laughs> Did you idea? did you come up with any provocative words? At least. Is do me uh, a word? <laughs> <laughs> I was so mad I went to bed. I don't know what happened after I, I left. Don't, uh, Pat. Uh, <laughs> How do yeah, you spell the guy, the guy, recent member? <laughs> the guy uh, did well, man. I mean, he, uh, he had a bunch of wives. Uh, he was uh, the first guy to cross the Pacific Ocean in a manned hot air balloon. Now, this is Rocky, um, uh, the founder of Benny Hanna. Aoki. Mm -hmm. What's his last name? Aoki. Okay. Is he still with us? Yeah. No, Rocky passed away in uh, 2008, uh, and uh, he survived by his third wife, Kiko, 
who has a lot of um, legal. Money. <laughs> yes, you got a lot of money, but there's a, there's a lot there's a lot of legal battles with the Aoki family. I don't know if you know uh, Steve Aoki is a famous uh, DJ and EDM musician, and that's uh, that's Rocky's son. Oh, uh, and Devin Aoki uh, is a famous model and actress. She was in those Fast and Furious uh, uh, movies. Really? She's, uh, yeah, she's uh, Tom. She's a looker. Uh, oh, nice. she, yeah, she's she's a real looker. Um, and he said and that charity uh, that, he, that he started along with the, the care organization, karaoke. Oh my that's God. right. They're, yes, they're yeah. killing. Yeah, I, 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 they, 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 very well. Yeah. 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 A lot of clothes right there. Well. Wow. <laughs> so excited. Yeah, he uh, he sued his kids. They 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 um he got in some insider trading trouble and had to uh, sign over some of the company. And there was a legal battle. He said uh, he had six kids. Uh, he said my favorite son is Kyle. Uh, I sue him though. Uh, oh, all right. Yeah. All right. And and his favorite daughter was was Devin. Um, yeah, he, he made no no bones about uh, he had favorites. You're not supposed <laughs> to have favorites. Um, every parent has favorites. Sure. sure. The truth. What? Won. Really? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're an only child, then you get it all, Dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, uh, he's you know, he's in the National Wrestling Hall of Fame, guys. Wow. Uh, mm. National Wrestling, and uh, you know I'm in the Missouri chapter. Of the National Wrestling Hall of Fame, you are allegedly. Not. Allegedly, what was his I, weight I class? Could you have wrestled him? No, he was just small. He's uh, five foot four uh, with a Jerry Curl. Oh, uh, you're afraid? Yeah, you're Jerry afraid to wrestle? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like uh, you're running. A Japanese are you, and Olympian, Josh. Are you running from him? Sounds scared? like you're running. <laughs> bit, bit cowardly. I mean, I, buck, 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 buck. All right, well, buck. I'll go with him. I'll go. Well, uh, hard now, but Greg Lily Liver now. Warren. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, um, we're discussing Rocky Aoki. Is that Aoki? Aoki. 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 Rocky Aoki. The Aoki. founder of Benny Hanna. Benny Hanna's still thriving, though. Sure. Uh, doing well. Uh, there are some legal battles with the uh, with uh, his uh, widow Kiko. The kids don't like her, and she uh, sort of junked up the, the the Hawaiian version. They served hamburgers, and uh, she had uh, two uh, a two girl rap troupe called the Benny Girls. <laughs> oh. They, they were, Smoking hot and uh, sounds like yeah, a yeah. hell of an act, right? <laughs> yeah, I know the kids didn't like it. Uh, I think Rocky would have loved it, from what uh, what I can tell. Mm -hmm. Oh, he would have loved the Benny Girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now definitely. that not to be confused with Hills Angels, the girls in Be the Benny Hill show. Oh, you have to let <laughs> the Benny Hill dream die. You have to. <laughs> I'm just saying uh, the Hills Angels were gorgeous. Mm, lovely, Lou. <laughs> uh, uh, Chick and I used to chase each other on the stage to the Benny Hill theme. <laughs> yes, yes, we ah, did. Yeah. Yakety sacks. Uh, embarrassing yeah. moments of my life, yes. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 uh, he, he did everything, man. He launched a, he launched a, a diet pill business. That failed. Um, he, <laughs> he launched a, I mean, take some MSG out of your food. <laughs> he launched a uh, uh, some frozen entrees, Benihana frozen entrees, and uh, the motto was, uh, we either make it great or we don't make it at all. And... Uh, it, it must not have been great because after uh, two years, they did not enough. make it at all. Okay. Lost eleven million dollars. Oh uh, my! Yeah, yeah. I, did, I didn't idea. know he was responsible for Genesis magazine. I love those sort of fake, like these offshoots of Playboy that never quite made it. You know, gent decal fake. issue. It's got two centerfolds, Tom. <laughs> Revolutionary. It's true. You know how many staples that is. That's a lot of staples. It's double. And, and, and Josh, you know how much you pay for that extra centerfold? How much? Nothing! Nothing! Oh. Rocky eats it. <laughs> well. He passes the savings on <laughs> Oh, oh, boy. Where do you think those mistresses yeah. come from? <laughs> I'm trying to see if you can buy a Genesis magazine. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. I'm looking what? at you can shop uh, old Genesis magazines. They range from $15 to uh, wow. to $89. Wow. Oh, the old ones have Peter Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The new ones still call you like the Phil oh, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I, I, uh, Greg, yeah. thank you very much. <laughs> now, it would appear that uh, you're going to be back on stage at the Funny Bone in Dayton coming up February 11th and 12th. Am I getting this right? Yeah, and uh, we just added uh, the Valentine's Day, the 14th. Oh. That's that's perfect, man. I was talking uh, to Janelle at the Dayton Funny Bone, and she was very excited. They're very excited to have you. What day of the week uh, is uh, the 14th this year? It's a Monday it's a night. Monday. Yeah. So a Monday show. So Monday this is kind night. of this is sort of Valentine's. your love your love show. Yeah, my uh, well, I don't know about love that. show. Uh, Greggy's <laughs> love show. <laughs> A 
doctor is going viral after making a TikTok video claiming that it's possible to fart yourself blind. Come on. In the clip, plastic surgeon Dr. Anthony Yawn, mm. or Yawn, it's probably Yawn because it's spelled yeah, yeah. like noun with a Y, mm. responds to another TikTok user who claimed, quote, I once farted so hard I went blind for three minutes. No, you didn't. Dr. Yawn first assures the viewers that it's very unlikely. It's really hard for me to talk about, but uh, uh, such and such. No, you didn't. But goes on to say, quote, if the gas you pass is extremely pungent, it could contain large amounts of hydrogen sulfide. Oh, this will be fun. Let's make a... Let's make a uh, rhyme. Uh, if the gas you pass will come out of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's a good move because you can't rhyme pungent with much. No. <laughs> he goes on to say, studies show that hydrogen sulfide is very effective in reducing blood pressure. And if it reduces blood pressure to the central retinal artery, your silent but deadly toot could theoretically make you go blind. No, this just didn't happen. There was no reason to respond to this person. According to IFL Science, one would need to produce a truly significant amount of flatulence well. or develop a means of strong farts over several days to reach unsafe thresholds of hydrogen <laughs> sulfide inhalation. So flatulence could cause blindness. In a very rare extreme case for a short period Ray of time. Ray Charles, famous consumption of baked beans. Really? Oh, wow. No wonder he... Uh, oh. Come on, Ray. Come on, Ray. Ray. <laughs> you wouldn't be blind if you didn't fart so much. Wait, not Ray. Do you have a song oh for us, Pat? God. Yes. Springsteen wrote the original here, so I'll do it in his style. Okay. I can't believe you're doing this. Let's get shut up, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> We're embarrassed for you. Go ahead. All right, here we go, then. Some Dr. Quack Hack is getting blown back in a TikTok video. <laughs> Says hydrogen sulfide coming out your backside could blind you, don't you know? <laughs> With a diploma over his shoulder, his statement seems much bolder about when gas gets in your eyes. <laughs> This here MD says an SPD affects the retinal artery over time. <laughs> says you'll be blinded by your farts. <laughs> Cut loose like a goose. Here's hoping you don't shart. <laughs> yeah, blinded by your sh farts. My brother let one fly right by my eye, and I was blinded by his farts. Oh, Daddy always told me never to look into the brown eye of his other son. Oh. Daddy, that's where the fudge is. Oh, oh man. God. I gotta go now. Let me, uh, oh, that is, that is so nice, that's Pat. That's where the, the fudge is. That's where the fudge is. Let me, uh, uh, that was so good. Did I, you have I, any help writing that? that is like was, we need some fart goggles. Way better than I thought it would be. Uh -huh. Very nice. is facing charges after mooning a Delta Airlines flight crew. According to a federal complaint, Shane McCarney had created numerous disturbances on the January 7th Delta flight from Dublin to JFK. The complaint states that the 29-year-old, quote, repeatedly refused to wear a face mask despite being asked dozens of times by flight crew personnel. Attaboy. At one point, he got up from his seat to complain to an attendant about the food and on his way back, pulled his pants down, mooning the attendant and exactly. fellow passengers. He was, of course, taken into custody once the plane landed at JFK and has since been charged with interfering with a flight crew, which, by the way, is a felony that carries a 20-year maximum prison sentence. You know, drunken Irishman landing at JFK, there's a joke there. The pilot you know, it's, yeah. you don't want to believe in these stereotypes, Pat. But <laughs> Boy, are they true. <laughs> you guys, your people are making it awfully tough. <laughs> the pilot attempted to speak with McIrney, during which point the passenger put his cap on the pilot's head Hilarious. I hope it was a Tam O'Shanter. Oh, that's Scottish. Isn't it? He also told the pilot not to touch him and put his fist near the pilot's face. See, that's where you, that's where it's this, this guy. Five awesome. years of uh, forced sodomy in a I nice prison in New York. Hey, welcome to America, asswipe. As the plane was making its final approach, <laughs> McCarney refused to stay in his seat, instead standing in the aisle, which they you can't land if you're standing, by the way. jackass <laughs> refuses to sit in his seat while the plane lands and yeah. threatens the pilot. No. Yeah. If the door would open, I would have thrown him out. I'd love to be the judge in this room. <laughs> 
<laughs> Uncle Shane. Hey, Rumpelstiltskin, you're going to love prison. Uh, this is happening more and more and more and more. Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin. How'd you drag that into it? Hey, loser, do a better job wiping. Okay, you smell Do you it. think any of this, because I think they're banning the booze on the planes, and I know for my last flight, I may, have, I may have pre-gamed pre a little too yeah. hard because I knew I couldn't get a drink on the game. and I Fly wonder, sober like a man. I, yeah. I can't do it, Josh. I'll cry on the plane. You get sad. You think about things. That's what planes are for. You sit in the back row by the bathrooms and you cry. <laughs> this was a uh, Delta I'm flight. so glad I'm right? doing it right. <laughs> From Dublin to JFK. So. Okay. Would have been a much better story if you'd have been on the official Irish airline. Oh, gosh. Uh, Which is what? Uh, at last, our true enemy <laughs> reveals itself. Ah, uh, uh, Josh, the... The airline, of course, is Aer Lingus. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. They're not, they, they merged with Continental. Is that right? <laughs> mm -hmm. hmm. I wonder what, what that would be. <laughs> what are they going to call it? <laughs> what are gonna, uh, mid Midway? Uh, Aer Lentil. As, as uh, Godwin uh, said, it's all part of the experience. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is. It really is. It's all part of the journey, really. Yeah. Get you there <laughs> fast, too. <laughs> Did you see where United Airlines flight carrying 123 passengers from Newark to Tel Aviv turned around? Because when they realized they were going to Tel Aviv? No, <laughs> because two riders self-upgraded to business class. Yeah. And when the flight attendant approached them and asked to see their tickets, they got a little rowdy. The flight was canceled. Affected passengers were given meal vouchers and hotel accommodations. This is the second time in a week that they've had to turn around an international flight How because of disruptive passengers. How furious would you be? Oh, like? Again, I, I, I hope there's an engineer out there <laughs> trying to develop the the the, uh, the 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 equivalent of a the torpedo shoot in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> the ejector seat. Uh, yes. Hey, we have a special seat for you. It's not business class, but please come this right way. Right in the chute. <laughs> don't. Don't. Uh, this is your pilot speaking. Uh, the, the gentleman in 29A is going to be ejected. Uh, over the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> we aren't going to let him take his seat in case it, it is a flotation device. This is incredible, Jack. Yes, yeah. And let's hope the sharks get him. So long, pal. If you look to the left, you can see the jag off who was screaming earlier <laughs> flying through the air. Uh -huh. And the flight attendant and the air marshal high five. <laughs> Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.